What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gemmin. The other day, I was placing an order for some new Omnibus, like I always do. And I was looking through the site, and I realized, man, it kept track of every order that I've ever placed, going back all the way to 2016. So I thought it would be fun to kind of add up and see how much I actually spent on all these Omnibus that you see here. Before we get started, though, we have a giveaway going on, so check this out. On our road to 100k subs, we're going to be giving out a couple of milestone giveaways. We have two full sets of the boys' omnibus, volumes 1 through 6. So we're going to give away to two winners once we hit 92,500 subscribers. You just got to be subscribed to this channel and leave a comment below. Stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll give you more details on the giveaway. All right, so around 2016, I was collecting CGC key issues. I was trying to put together like a nice Spider-Man run. I was thinking something like AF15 through ASM50. I had the AF15. You can see a video here where I talk about how I was able to accomplish that. And I was collecting these key issues. For whatever reason, I picked up some Marvel Masterworks trade paperbacks of the early Spider-Man issues. I even got some X-Men ones or what have you. I thought it was cool to read the stories how, uh, of the keys I was collecting. So one day I walked into my local comic shop at the time, was in West Palm Beach, Florida. It was past, present, future. And I saw this book right here, The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1 by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. And it wasn't this actual book. It was the first print, which was like real thick, super thick uh, stock paper. I ended up getting rid of that and getting this fourth print, which was a more manageable size for space reasons or what have you so anyway i bought this at cover price for 100 dollars, and then i started getting into some out of print omnibus i wanted the x-men volume one by stan lee i wanted all these silver age blue chip kind of stories and then i found out that you can buy these omnibus for about 50 percent off if you order them online like our sponsor on this video, CheapGraphicNovels.com, like I said, they sell the titles up to 50% off. They have great packaging, super fast shipping, they have good customer service, and they have a bargain bin where you can actually get titles up to 90% off. Uh, if you mention this channel in the memo at checkout, your second order will have free shipping as long as you're in the United States. So CheapGraphicNovels.com is a great place. You might have noticed if you order off of Amazon, they sell them online less than what their cover prices are so when i found this out i started ordering online and um i actually have 218 total online orders so i'm going to give you the total number now keep in mind this is just what i ordered through this website which is where i probably got like 95 percent of these books so it doesn't have what i bought at local comic shops if i went to hunt down like an out of print book um if I bought something off eBay or uh, off Facebook, it's not going to be on here. But I think it's going to even out because this includes everything that I ordered, like Absolute Editions, Library Editions, um, those big Adamantium Editions that I used to have. So I think it's going to even out and be about this same number here. Now, when I first found this site online, I spent $192. This is my first order. It's the Guardians of the Galaxy Omnibus by Abna and Lanning. Guardians of the Galaxy Solo Classics and the Deadpool Classic Omnibus. That was my first online order here and I got them at like 42% off. And what's funny, I can see I was kind of testing the site out. Like, I, you know, I didn't really trust it yet. Uh, and then once I placed a couple of orders, uh, I placed an order for every single Absolute Edition that they had uh, available at one time. So my eighth order was $1,258 and I ordered all these absolute editions. I mean, there's so many of them. The Long Halloween, uh, All-Star Superman, The Watchmen, Hush, uh, basically every um, Loeb and Sale absolute edition, Why the Last Man, Transmetropolitan, Sandman. So I just went crazy with absolutes uh, in one of those early orders. So anyway, not to drag this on too long. So I tallied up, there was nine pages of orders Every page had 25 orders. The last page had 18. This is four years, 218 online orders. The grand total is $29,221.50. So about $30,000 for the Omnibus collection. Again, give or take, right? Some stuff I didn't purchase online, some stuff I got in person, 
But uh, the online order is all collected editions. Even trade paperbacks are in there. So dang, it's like thirty grand over four years. Uh, it's probably worth more than that now because I don't think any order that I placed online for you know forty two percent off, fifty percent off, none of them have lost value, and many of them have appreciated in value. Stuff like the Avengers by Hickman omnibuses, those. Those I got at you know half price, and they definitely sell for more than cover price now. The, where I really got killed was buying out of print omnibus over cover price on eBay. Stuff like the Silver Surfer by Stan Lee omnibus, I probably spent like four hundred dollars on that. They made a reprint, and now you could buy it for fifty percent off cover price. So those I took an L on, but really this thirty grand, I'm sure that the collection has appreciated based on all the books that I got under retail. And that's kind of why I really like to buy and in, not really invest into the Omnibus, but I think they're a good buy. If you can get it less than cover price, chances are it's going to go out of print and be worth more than that. Now, I don't sell Omnibus. I never have ever sold one of my Omnis. Only have ever sold like um, oversized hardcovers, adamantium editions, like never an Omnibus. So... I don't know, maybe one day I'll cash out, but I kind of have told myself this is the retirement plan, not in the sense that I'm going to sell it and retire, but in the sense that this is what I'm going to be doing while enjoying retirement is just reading all of this content that I can stack up. So yeah, man, that is how much money I've spent on the Omnibus collection, give or take about 30 grand or so. Uh, man, I challenge you guys, add up your online orders. Let me know how much you spent in the comments below. And let me tell you a little bit more about the giveaway we're doing. All right, guys, like I said before, all you have to do to be eligible for these giveaways is be subscribed to the channel, leave a like on this video, and comment down below. Once we hit 92,500 subscribers, I'm going to pick a random video where I promote this giveaway, use a random YouTube comment generator to pick two winners. One winner is going to get the comic cover set, the other is going to get the show cover set. The first place winner picks which one they get. So make sure that you are subscribed, like, and comment below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. As always, I want you to stay minty fresh and check out the next video. Peace.